Uh, my name is Denis Sergeyev and I'm a postdoctoral researcher here at the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Exeter and I'm a member of the Exoplanet Theory Group. My own research at the moment uh, focuses on simulations of Earth-like uh, exoplanets, planets that have a size similar to that of Earth and uh, that potentially have a rocky surface uh, or a surface covered by an ocean, for example. There's just so much we don't know about exoplanets, how they form, why is there such a variety of them, why there are some planets that we discover that they don't exist in our own solar system. Questions that interest me in particular are what the atmospheres of these exoplanets are made of and how they function, how, they, how the wind circulation regime formed there and what, it, what can it tell us about the climate. I'm interested in processes that involve uh, convection. So atmospheric convection is, um, is a form of energy transport. You can witness it pretty much every day uh, if you look out of the window and see these beautiful uh, towering white clouds. These are essentially convective clouds that are associated with uh, this process. On exoplanets, convection is also an important uh, climatic mechanism. It drives the energy, the, the heat redistribution uh, around the planet and it also uh, creates clouds. The climate that exists on that planet and clouds that we observe are essentially all connected to convective, um, convective processes. So how do I study um, exoplanet atmospheres, you might ask? I use numerical models of weather and climate prediction that were developed originally for Earth. I use a specific kind of uh, atmospheric models, uh, which is called the three-dimensional uh, general circulation model, or 3DGCM, that are based on uh, the laws of physics, the laws of fluid dynamics and mathematical equations um, that were originally developed for um, Earth atmosphere and then I adapt them to all sorts of atmospheric positions, pressures and um, other conditions that uh, are informed by all the available observations that I can get my hand on. The UK Met Office has developed uh, the next generation uh, numerical weather prediction system called ELFRIC, named so after Lewis Fry Richardson, uh, the uh, British pioneer of um, numerical weather forecasting. And this is what I'm working on now. I'm adapting this uh, next generation model, ELFRIC, to exoplanetary atmospheres. One particular aspect of, of this work is that convective clouds are quite small compared to other large scale features of the atmospheric circulation. To include them in the models, one essentially needs to refine the resolution of, of those uh, atmospheric models. But of course, this becomes very much, um, very, very computationally expensive, potentially unfeasible for long uh, simulations over a wide parameter space that exoplanets present us with. So in my work, I've been using an, uh, a hierarchy of uh, models at different resolution and with different representation of convection to um, study how, how it impacts the climate and uh, observability of um, the exoplanetary atmosphere. So in my research, and as a member of a wider exoplanet community, I, I would like to, for us to be able to understand what happens in the atmospheres of super-Earth sub-Neptunes at the same time, uh, studying cloud-climate interactions on uh, all sorts of planets and in all sorts of uh, temperature pressure regimes stress tests our theories and our models of uh, cloud processes. And eventually, I hope that my research will feed back into the uh, Earth climate research and improve our uh, models of climate and, and, and uh, climate prediction. As I come from the um, climate science background myself, I'm able to 
transfer some of the ideas and encourage some of the developments in the exoplanet field that has been tried and proven to be useful. One of them is uh, the concept of model intercomparisons. No climate model is perfect. E each of them have, has their own advantages and uh, biases. We can apply the same approach to uh, exoplanetary atmospheres and instead of using just one model, we can use um, an ensemble of them. I'm lucky to be involved in a series of international projects that focus on model intercomparisons for different exoplanets. In fact, I uh, co-led uh, the pioneering uh, model intercomparison for a confirmed rocky exoplanet, TRAPPIST-1e. This project is called TIE, or TRAPPIST-1e Habitable Atmosphere Intercomparison. And in this project, we uh, developed uh, four uh, atmospheric models and we ran them for uh, different scenarios of uh, an Earth-like or Mars-like atmosphere for that exoplanet and then produced some synthetic observational spectra that will be then compared to the actual data uh, obtained from telescopes. Three-dimensional models of the atmosphere that include clouds and aerosols will be a step change in our understanding uh, of these planets and it will provide a very valuable tool for interpreting uh, existing observations, near future observations and guiding future observational campaigns. The momentum that is being gained with um, these shiny new telescopes uh, will be undermined without similar advancements in theory.